Yo, what's up guys, Sijiko Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, we're gonna be playing with my opponent's decks in the Grim Challenge. As you guys can see, I just played a few games. Last match, we played against this Royal Giant deck, so for the next match, I'm gonna be playing with this exact same Royal Giant deck. Let's say we face, for example, 2.6 in the next match, then we have to play 2.6 after that match. I really miss the Blind Copy deck challenge. I don't know if you guys remember, I used to be able to go to a profile, scroll down, and then the copy button now is below the deck. It used to be above the deck. So I would like, for example, now copy the deck and then hop into a match on ladder or in a challenge. That used to be some, uh, yeah, really fun times. But let's see uh, what can happen in today's video with the opponent's deck. Let's see what decks we're going to be facing and what decks we're going to play afterwards. As I said, I'm going to start with this Royal Giant deck and then whatever deck we, uh, we face now, I'm also going to copy it. And I also copied the towers, by the way. This guy was running the normal tower. That's why I'm also running normal tower. If, for example, someone is running Cannoneer, I guess we'll just copy it with the um, yeah, Cannoneer as well. Okay, looks like he has Fireball, looks like he has um, Firecracker. I guess we can try to activate the King Tower here with some Goblins. And then maybe go with Royal Giant in the back already. Not sure what he has, but Fireball plus uh, Firecracker. I don't really think he's gonna have... Um, okay, looks like he also has Little Prince. Not sure, to be honest. Could be maybe an off-meta deck, to be honest. Can't really think about a yeah, meta deck with these cards, unless I'm... Yeah, not thinking right. Okay, let's go Fisherman here. Let's have the Fireball ready in case he gives us really good value. I think... Nah, let's just leave it like that. I think most of the times the Royal Giant in single elixir um, is mainly to, yeah, see what deck he's running. Try to bait out some cards, maybe bait out some counters. And then afterwards, you should be able to cycle back to a second Royal Giant, which is, of course, going to be the, yeah, evolution one. Okay, he's probably going to Firecracker somewhere, I assume. Or what is he going to do? Let's see what he's going to do. Oh, looks like he has Knight. Okay, we can try to maybe afterwards... Okay, let's cycle Bomber first. And then I think we should be able to already go with the Royal Giant sometime soon. He has a... Um, yeah, Hawk Rider Cycle deck, by the way. But it's running with Fireball, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go Royal Giant here. I'm gonna have the Fisherman ready. If he goes with Bomb Tower high enough, we can go Fisherman. If not, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna go Fisherman. If not, I want to say I can just go with our... Um, yeah, Fireball. So nice. Bomb Tower very high. Big mistake by him, to be honest. Because this Fisherman plus the RG is gonna get a lot of damage on the right side tower. He shouldn't have much in cycle right now. He does go with a little prince last second, but the little prince, of course, is not really uh, yeah, gonna help him out in that specific situation. So that's already gonna be tower down for us. I'm gonna go goblins kind of early just to see if we can um, yeah, get value out of them on top of the little prince, unless he like instantly went with ability or maybe even like prediction. Um, the goblins would have been yeah dead really fast, but in this case, he didn't expect it. So the goblins get a lot of value. In the meantime, we can start cycling another bomber to start cycling towards the evolution bomber. Royal Giant in the back here, and I think this is looking like a solid W, to be honest. Okay, he does go with his um, fireball. Need to watch out with the um, firecracker. Okay, looks like he goes firecracker up high. I went with the ghost, kind of prediction, um, predicting the, what's it called, the firecracker there. Okay, let's go Fisherman here. Let's then afterwards go with a Hunter. I'm gonna go Barber on top of the Evil Skeletons. And I'm gonna go um, Evil Bomber for a potential Knight or something. Or what is he gonna do? Okay, the Knight um, yeah, is dropped. Not a lineup for the Bomber though, but still a lot of damage. We even cycle back to another Royal Giant and this should be GG. So this means that in the next match, we're gonna have to copy his um, yeah, Hawk Rider deck. Kind of a strange version. I don't really like the fact that he has Fireball in there, but yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. We will have to play the exact same version he's running. He also run, uh, yeah, the Princess Tower, so we're gonna run the Princess Tower as well. But maybe you guys already saw that, but you can now use Cannoneer in the, yeah, Grand Challenge as well. So sometimes it's actually nice to have um, Cannoneer in some specific decks. I guess it's fine. In other decks, I guess you still wanna run the Princess Tower. So let's give him a good game. Let's quickly copy his Hawk Rider deck. Very strange version, as I said, like, um, yeah, typical Hawk Rider deck, but instead of having it with Earthquake, he has Fireball. I guess Fireball in some situations can help out a little bit, but I guess in general with Hawk Rider, I definitely prefer the, yeah, the Earthquake. But anyways, let's see how it turns out. Okay, so hoping into the next match, guys. Let's see what deck we're going to be facing, and let's see what we can do with this Hawk um, yeah, Fireball deck. Okay, looks like he has Bomber. Let's go Hawk Rider opposite lane. And I guess afterwards, we can maybe prepare a potential Firecracker, or what is he going to do? Oh, he has Nado. Okay, he didn't nado that well, because if you nado, um, yeah, perfect, you will be able to... Okay, let's cycle here, Firecracker, and let's then go with um, Fireball towards the right side as well. So what I want to say, if you nado perfectly with the Hawk Rider, you can avoid any hits. So not the best nado by him, but I guess it's still, um, yeah, activated the King Tower, which was the most important thing for him. Okay, is this gonna be... Oh, I was about to say, is this gonna be Golem? Looks like it is indeed Golem. So I guess the Fireball in this case, not sure if it's better. I mean, it's not better against the Elixir Collector, but Fireball will definitely help out a lot against the, um, the what's it called? Against the support troops. Like, for example, Electro Dragon, maybe like a Firecracker Splash Damage plus Fireball can kill it. 
Um, if he has um, Skeleton Dragons, even better. So in this case, he will go with Electro Dragon. I guess I'm gonna go Firecracker, and I'm also gonna go Fireball here. Hopefully that, yeah, I was about to say, hopefully that kills. I thought I remembered, yeah, correct, where it does kill, and indeed it does end up killing it, so that's awesome. And really nice defense, actually. Okay, so it's, yeah, gonna be a pretty typical Golem deck. In this case, we're gonna have to play Golem next game, so that's gonna be fun for sure. But in the meantime, let's continue the pressure. Let's go with Hawk Rider right side. I went with Skeletons at the bridge as well, just to force out for, uh, I think, a Nado defensively. Wait, what? Is there, did he not have the Nado? Or maybe he didn't have enough Elixir? Um, anyways, right side tower already goes down, as you guys can see, so that's awesome. And here we just need to, yes, survive. Do still have quite a bit of time. He still has 1 minute and 15 seconds. But I think we should be, um, yeah, really solid on defense. And actually the Fireball in this case helped out. So I guess, yeah, props to our opponent before for putting Fireball instead of putting Earthquake. Earthquake is really nice to have against the Elixir Collector. But then afterwards the support units like, for example, uh, Skeleton Dragons, Electro Dragon and stuff like that can get a little bit tricky sometimes. Okay, let's go Little Prince here on defense. Let's see what he's gonna do. Let's go with, I think, some skeletons here to distract the Electro Dragon. Just to make sure that the Little Prince can continue shooting as fast as possible. And then I'm gonna go Firecracker here at the bridge for a potential Lumberjack. Okay, very nice prediction. Let's go with a look here afterwards. Let's then afterwards, I think, go with the ability as well. And then, as I said, it's just a matter of time. 35 seconds left. So basically, we just need to, yes, yeah, survive as long as possible. Okay, let's go Bomb Tower here. Let's go with a Knight. Let's go with another Firecracker. Let's have the fireball ready. There you go. Very good fireball. I'm gonna take it right away. And then afterwards, we just need to, yeah, as I said, survive a little bit longer. 20 seconds left. This is looking like GG. I don't think he has um, yeah, much time left to be able to protect this um, golden push. He does go with the knight. He does go with the bomber. And I guess we can just, yeah, let's even go hawk rider here just to uh, distract all the units. Six seconds left. Let's go with the knight here last second. And it should be GG. I think even if the worst case situation, if he ends up taking our tower, his left side tower was already down to 786 HP as well. So it was not like, um, yeah, if he takes the tower, we're done. But still nice to, yeah, just survive and get the, the victory there. So let's copy the deck right away. Let's go with this 4.4 average Elixir Coast Golem deck. Quite expensive. The good thing is that we do have the Elixir Collector. So let's hop into the next match with this Golem deck. Let's see what we can do. Kind of a strange version though. He doesn't have a, a small spell and he doesn't run Little Prince. I think I've seen this version being used either with Barbell or Little Prince. And he doesn't have any. So it's going to be interesting to try out this version. He has double dragons as well. He has Electro Dragon and the Skelly Dragon. Um, and then the Evil Bomber and the Evil Knight. So yeah, it doesn't look that bad. But let's see what we can do. Okay, so he starts off with bats, he starts off with uh, spear gobs. I guess we can defend first, let's go with skelly drags, and afterwards I'm gonna set up an elixir collector. Yeah, let's go elixir collector already, not sure what he's running, he might have miner, no, I don't think he has miner. But we can maybe activate the king tower here with the electro wizard. I don't know if it's worth it, but I think we can, let's see if uh, we pull it off. Okay, nice, we do pull it off, still quite a bit of damage taken with the wall breakers afterwards as well. But I think the activation might be able to help us out. I don't know what deck he's running, to be honest. But it's looking like... Yeah, I was about to say. Looking like some spammy deck. Maybe with a Goblin Drone there. Maybe with... I have no idea, to be honest. Okay, he also has Skeleton Army. I'm tempted to already go with a Golem. I think I'm already gonna go with a Golem. It's kind of early on. But having the King Tower activated. Having the Elixir collected there. Still alive. I think it's a good moment to go with Golem already. We can just tank a little bit of damage here with the Spear Gobs. And afterwards, I think we should be able to make a really big push with this golem and okay looks like he has mega knight i don't think he's gonna have much to be able to yeah deal with electro dragon most of the mega knight decks normally don't really run for example lightning or a big spell um and i think he might not even have a spell at all let's go with yeah skelly tricks here as well to support lumberjack plus electro dragon is gonna get a lot of value there and that's already looking like tower down to be honest i don't think he will be able to defend this um and we even cycle back to another elixir collector so yeah perfect situation for us we're gonna take the rest of tower for sure as you guys can see skelly Drake still with a lot of hp electro dragon is gonna go down sometime soon um but still gets a little bit of damage done to the princess as well okay so very good situation i think interesting deck by him i don't really like it to be honest and we're gonna have to play with it afterwards so it's gonna be interesting to see what we can do afterwards with his Mega Knight deck. I don't even know if he has a win condition. Like, what is this deck by him? Okay, let's go Knight here. Let's go with a Bomber on the right side. Bomber is gonna get a lot of value. And I'm just gonna go for the 3 crown. As you guys saw in the first push, he doesn't have a big spell. He doesn't really have anything to deal with our spam. So I think we can even, um, yeah, 3 crown this guy, to be honest. Okay, we do need to chat. Let's go with Lumberjack here. Let's go with a Bomber afterwards. Just to make sure that we kill all those uh, Spear Gobs. Make sure that the E-Drag stays alive. And then afterwards here, we should be able to... Even get some pressure going on both lanes. Okay, let's go Evil Knight to the left side. Let's go with uh, Skelly Drex here. 
to take care of those bits. I'm gonna go e Drake as well, and this should be, I think, pretty much good game. Even if we don't take the King Tower, it's still gonna be good game because he still needs to take our tower. Like at this point, we're just yeah spamming. We're just applying pressure to make sure that he can't apply pressure. But I think he yeah he will not be able to defend it. So it is gonna indeed be a three crown. Very nice W. I don't know about his deck though. Like even though it's a nice W. We do have to play with this Mega Knight deck. And what is his win condition? Like, did he not have a drill? Did he not have a miner? Is it just like... Okay, what is this deck? We're gonna have to play with this Mega Knight spam deck. Like, he doesn't have a win condition. His win condition is, I guess, like, wall breakers? Princess at the bridge? Like, what is this deck? I guess we're gonna have to, yeah, do our best to get a W here. But this is gonna be pretty rough, I feel like. Okay, so I guess, yeah, let's start off with our only win condition. Or one of our only few win conditions. Princess at the bridge, this is gonna be, yeah, the way of winning today's, well, not today's, but this specific match here. Okay, let's go bets here. Looks like he has bowler, he has um, a little prince, interesting. Okay, I think we can let the bowler be. I don't think it's gonna get a shot. And then here we can go with uh, wall breakers, and I'm gonna go spear gobs in the middle. Okay, what is this deck? He has little prince, bowler, and inferno, uh, inferno tower, excuse me. Okay, I guess we can go mega knight. I mean, maybe the mega knight can also help out a bit, like maybe some mega knight push. With, for example, some bets behind it. If he doesn't have a good answer, I guess could be good. Maybe some double lane pressure like skeleton army right side plus bets left side. I don't really know what we can do with this deck. But so far, we have a pretty decent start. Okay, let's go skeleton army right side. Let's go bets left side. He does also have the bomber. Bets. Oh, he also has a nado. Okay, he has nado, inferno tower, bowler, little prince. It's looking, I think, like a graveyard deck, right? I mean, thinking about the... The potential win conditions he could have. I'm definitely thinking about a potential graveyard. Could be wrong though, but looking like a graveyard deck in my opinion. Okay, let's go. Wallbreakers left side. He doesn't have the NATO in cycle, so Wallbreakers will not be able to um, yeah, activate the King Tower there. In this case, he does go with the Polar, so well played by him. I kind of wanted to protect the, protect the Princess, excuse me, but at the same time, he has the Inferno Tower, so I don't think it's really worth it. And ooh, he gives us a really good uh, Mega Knight. I'm definitely going to take that. But he should have the Inferno Tower again. Yeah, looks like he does. Okay, maybe the Ewis can reset it. Wait, one second. Oh, okay, okay. He does go with the Knight. Well played by him. And then I guess here we can just go with the Evil Bets. Um, get to start DPSing down this Knight. And also to start be able to maybe get some counter push going here. Okay, Princess at the bridge. Let's have the Wall Breakers ready. And yes. Oh my god, there's no way this is um, Electro Giant. Okay, I think we just lost, guys. Yes, Electro Giant, Inferno Tower, Bomber. What is this deck and what is this matchup? Okay, we're gonna have to, yeah, somehow cook, but this is gonna be impossible. Like, this is actually gonna be impossible. Like, we're not able to defend, I think, the Electro Giants, but at the same time, how are we even gonna get damage? Okay, he goes with Bowler. Let's go with Princess here. And I'm gonna go Mega Knight as a bridge for a potential. Um, okay, there you go. He does go with Little Prince. Nice. Wait, he didn't ability. Big mistake by him. He didn't ability, so the Princess is still locked onto the tower. And here we can continue the pressure. I don't know why he... Yeah, he didn't ability. What? That was such a big mistake by him. Okay, let's go Electro Wizard here. Let's go with the Princess here down below. Wallbreakers on the right side are going to connect. And I'm going to go Skeleton Army right side. Plus some bets on the left side now with this Mega Knight. Okay, looking pretty solid, guys. Skeletons on the right side are actually going to connect a little bit to the tower. Even one or two shots is worth it. Um, bets in the meantime are getting on top of the tower as well. And how are we even winning? Like, this deck doesn't have a building... Um, this deck doesn't really have a win condition. I guess it has a lot of spammy cards, but that's still not a yeah, good way to win. And we actually dealt a lot of damage. What? How are we uh, in the damage lead right now? Okay, let's go Mega Knight here. Let's go Skeleton Army to try and distract the, um, the Inferno Tower a little bit at least. And then afterwards, okay, looks like we will not be able to get anything going there. He should also soon have another Electro Giant ready. This is kind of scary. Okay, let's go... Purple here, Ewis down below. Ewis is actually pretty good against Electro Giant because it stuns it um, yeah, a little bit every time. Nice, let's go here with Spear Gobs. And look at the right side. Oh my god, huge connection with the Evil Wallbreakers. Let's go with the Evil Bats in the meantime. And this is actually looking pretty good. I mean, I don't know how we're dealing so much damage. As I said, we just have spammy cards. We don't really have a solid win condition. But this is kind of working out, I guess. Okay, nice. Let's see what he's gonna drop. Looks like he goes with Little Prince. Mega Knight is gonna jump straight on top of the tower with the Electro Wizard. It's gonna deal a lot of damage. To the left side, please tell me that you take the tower. No, it doesn't take the tower. He panicked though. Oh my god, he went with a NATO. Um, yeah, like a panic NATO there. In the last second, we can go with Barbell here. And then afterwards, I'm gonna prepare another Mega Knight. Okay, let's go Mega Knight now. Oh, he does have lightning. What? Okay, I thought that he would have used the lightning a little bit earlier, maybe against a potential Electro Wister or something. But this is looking like good game. One of the Spear Goblins is actually locked into the left side tower, and that's gonna be. 
tower down on the left side look at the right side as well skeleton army was connecting and i guess um yeah we had a lot of spammy good uh, spammy cards the good thing for us is that he didn't have a small spell he um did have some decent units against the spam like he did have the bomber nato bowler but i don't know he i think he definitely could have played it better so i'm gonna hop into one more match guys i'm gonna finish today's video using this electro giant inferno tower deck like what are people running in challenges like people are using very strange decks but i guess we don't really have a choice that's today's video that's the challenge of today's video using the decks our opponent is using and i guess if we just yeah have to play with a strange deck have to play a deck without a win condition i guess it is what it is so it looks like this guy is waiting i guess i'm gonna start off with a knight to start cycling towards the evil knight and maybe force out some um elixir by him okay he goes little prince i would like to go bowler same lane i feel like bowler is actually really good against the little prince if he abilities it doesn't really make sense um okay i guess we'll have to go with inferno tower here he does go with ability which as i said doesn't really make sense because the bowler is just gonna splash the little prince right away um he just gave more value to our bowler so very good for us and then not sure what he's running is this pekka could be a pekka deck i think okay this is gonna be interesting it's looking like a pekka deck for sure i don't think we really should defend the ghost to be honest um also maybe could have activated the king tower but he had a little bit yeah hp so i thought it would be risky to activate there okay i definitely think it's gonna be pekka so pekka not really sure how to feel about it i mean inferno tower i guess it's kind of nice to have um is it gonna be pekka though he has knight or is it just gonna be like a bridge spam deck i guess it could be either one i guess it just could be bridge spam or maybe he does actually have the pekka in there and that could be a big problem for us okay let's see i mean if he has pekka i don't think he's gonna ability the left side so that's kind of a good way to defend the little prince while applying pressure and we do have the bomber as well oh the bomber should have been one more to the left side though if i place the bomber i think like one more tell to the left side probably would have been able to deal a lot of damage let's go with a nato here to try and get some damage with the bomber um and oh my god huge damage actually okay a lot of damage done with the bomber bowler plus bomber will also be able to dps down a little bit on top of the ghost and then pretty good damage lead i guess i mean i don't think we um have many ways to get to the tower besides the play we just did with like the evil bomber plus maybe a, a bowler plus nato okay let's go little prince here towards the left side let's afterwards go bowler towards the right side and i guess here the most important part is gonna be yeah cycling that one bomber again like the evil bomber okay knight here as well luckily for us he doesn't have bomber he has i think he showed archers right yeah i think he has archers and evil knight okay that's gonna be interesting um should we go e giant not really sure if this e giant is a good play to be honest yeah he does have the pekka pekka's really good actually okay let's go bowler here as well bowler will be able to get a lot of value against the the troops on the left side but we need to be careful with the push on the right side yeah exactly he is gonna go with a better m as well i think i'm gonna go uh inferno tower here and afterwards we're gonna have to go with a high knight plus a bomber i think please bomber do something okay well the one archer is gonna get quite a bit of chip damage i think yeah it's gonna get three shots on top of the tower he also goes with a poison this is not looking that good to be honest okay ghost on the left side will also get two shots and we're in the damage uh disadvantage right now okay let's see let's go bowler here i think i'm gonna have to go with e-giant but at the same time e-giant is just yeah feeding his pekka all the time wait we can maybe go with like a nato like this and then knight to distract it okay this was i think a pretty nice play let's see how it works okay e-giant is gonna make it to the tower even if it gets like oh it doesn't even get one shot i was about to say even if it gets one shot it's still nice but it doesn't even get a single shot and that's kind of uh yeah rough for us to be honest okay let's see let's go with little prince here towards the left side and let's then afterwards go i think with e-giant at the bridge here okay he does go with better and well played by him okay i think our most important thing is gonna get a really nice bomber here against the pekka wait he didn't go pekka that's a big mistake by him we can go lightning now nice okay the e-giant is gonna get on top of the tower why did he not pekka but look at our right side tower poison goes down but i think we do end up winning before this poison takes the tower please tell me it's enough oh my god 22 hp we end up taking the tower that was so close guys i thought for one second that we did end up losing but at the same time i was like okay poison takes a few seconds to take the tower in this case we had like 100 something hp and the right side tower with the electric giant with the lightning and the bomber i don't know if the bomber even got a shot but ended up taking the tower before he did so that's gonna be it for today's video very nice video lots of fun even though we had some strange decks but i guess that's the funny part about this challenge hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to smack the like button if not subscribe to the channel feel free to subscribe and hope to see you guys in one of my next videos take care guys